John Falstrom back here, EADG4 Headquarters West Building, December 10th, 2016. Um, got Dave back here to shoot some videos on this uh, December 10th day in Chicago land suburbs, south suburbs. We're about 45 minutes straight south of the historic Wrigley Field. 35 minutes south of the mighty Soldier Field. Now I see a lot of guys asking me, um, can't get anywhere on the base. You know, I can't play this, I can't play that. Uh, my fingers are too slow. What do I do? What do I do? Here's what you do: you play, you play, you play notes on the base. The talking's done. Quit the talking. Let me show you. Take your first finger and beat it up. Just use your first finger. Until you get a until you get a, a blister. Now go up to the second fret. All the way up. And you can make the first finger. You're working with the first finger, okay? Going up and down the board or just Give some vibrato. Hit some, hit some notes. Now use your middle finger for the same thing. You can put your middle finger on the first fret. Don't, don't bother me. See? Skip around. Make up. Start building your musical imagination. This all sounds pretty good to me. That's one finger. Use your third finger. But you start with the first fret, or you can start with the 17th fret. Don't matter. Go down with your third finger. Use it. Burn it off. Scuff it off. Okay. Use that again. Now your fourth finger. Put it on the first fret. I don't care. Place, make up something with your just using your little finger. Now start putting them together. One and two. Do start slow. There's nowhere to go. You're not going anywhere. Just take one and two. Start slow. Maybe go up. Back down. There's no one way to do this. Challenge yourself. If you don't challenge yourself, uh, you probably should put your bass down right now. Go up. I'm just making this stuff up. One and two, okay? Now go two and one. Challenge yourself. See, how, see if you can do that. How long can you do that? One and three now. Make up stuff. Gotta hit notes. Gotta hit strings constantly. One and four. Three fingers. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, four, three, two. Doesn't matter where you are on the base. So here's your run. Four. One, four, three, two. One, four, three, two. Same. You're gonna start on the fifth fret. Now, if you can, you want to use all four of your fingers. They gotta be equal. They gotta be equal. You cannot have a weak finger. Usually, it's your little finger. Well, your little finger's got to be your, your strongest finger, or as strong as your first finger, because that is one of the bookends. It's either leading or following, or backing. It's either the back of the line, you're going up, it's leading. 
It's got to be, it's got to be really strong. See this bass, I tell people, I compare the bass like uh, you want to own a horse and you want to ride it and you want it to be a good horse, but this horse is wild and does not want to be tamed. This is the bass guitar. It doesn't want to be tamed and it has no interest in you taming it. So it's going to fight you, knock you off, scuff you up, frustrate you, aggravate you. But then you see results if you keep working. It's going to take time. You got you got to train this horse. Again, it's wild, doesn't want to be trained, and it's stubborn. Okay? You just got to be more stubborn. Okay? So you use four fingers. You go make them all strong. Usually your little finger. Again, you got to make your little finger your go-to finger because your hand starts shaping where you use shapes. Where a lot of the shapes, you use your first and little finger. Your first finger is naturally strongest because you use it in real life all the time. It's and you got your palm, uh, your thumb on that side. Little finger is your weakest because it's all by itself on the outside, and you, you you don't use it that much in real life. So you got to beef this muscle up right here. So you got to use it. Really go for it. Don't avoid it. Go for it. That's how you get your. Yeah, you gotta play. Here's my riff. Not bad. Let's try something else. Let's go. Get that back to that one. Stay on one string. Here's a good one. If you have problems with your your third and fourth finger, you see those are the, I see the the two problem where you with a with a third and a fourth can't get separated. So what you just do is just go three four 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 three. So you play a whole song with like uh, just start taking all the songs you play and just use your little finger for the, all the notes, or your third finger, or your middle finger, or your first finger. You want these fingers equal, strong, taming this thing. Okay? Those are finger exercises, technique exercise. Technique is your chops, they call it, your ability to play clean, great tone, uh, flawlessly. Okay? And that's how you develop it. You play notes. You don't, you don't talk about it, you play. Every time you play a note, you get better. I just got better. Okay? That's how it's, I always, a lot of people, my, my method is nature's law, tooth and claw. That's kind of like been my motto since day one. Uh, hard work, that's what it is, it's hard work, but it's re really satisfying and enjoying watching you tame this thing. It's a great, great pleasure. Um, so that's how you tame the horse, that's how you get your, extra, your chops together, you tame it. You play. Don't ask, how do I do this? What's, am I doing it right? Who cares if you're doing it right when you start out? You'll, you'll wind up playing it right, trust me. Okay? Just play. Don't, don't ask so many questions when you do it. Just play anything. And challenge yourself. Be quick. Be tight. Use all four fingers. One finger per fret is the rule of thumb. And then, but again, if you're all equal, that goes right out the window. Just use your first finger. It doesn't matter. All right, John Falstrom, December 10th, author of the ADG4. These technique exercises are on, I got a load of these. Um, 92 uh, to, no, 94 through 96. 194 to 196, I believe. Okay. Uh, these, a lot of people call them the 24. We use all four fingers. A lot of guys go this. 24 exercises possible of using four fingers. It's another way of looking at it, okay? Okay, John Falls. See you. See you soon. Bye-bye.